Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about the factors influencing the development. So we majorly have the two main factors. We have the innate, which is your heredity, or we can say the genetic makeup. And the second is your environment. You know, so these two factors together are basically shaping you as a person. And it's majorly contributing in the development of a person. So how it actually works. So we basically cannot uh, pinpoint any one of the two and say that it is only because of this particular area that I have developed so well. So they both are nothing but actually interwoven or so to say interconnected. And this interaction between the environment and the heredity or the genetic make makeup is leading to the development of the person. Now, how this works, firstly, when we move on to the very first uh, topic, the first pointer, which is your innate, which also means heredity, and it also means the genetic makeup or so to say the genetic transmission. Now, what is this doing? So we know about the two kinds of genes. We know about the genotype. We know about the phenotype. Genotype, I'm repeating that it is the genetic material, you know. It is the genetic heritage, you know, the actual genetic material accounts for the genotype. And when this similar genetic material, when it becomes identifiable, when it becomes observable, then it, it actually is called the phenotype because that is something which we can very well, well witness, we can very well see, we can observe, we can identify a person with those particular kind of genes. And when we start identifying, when we start observing, and it's quite evident, visible, then it's the phenotype. So it could be, uh, you know, your uh, physical traits. It could also be your psychological characteristics. So in terms of your physical traits, we have the height, we have the weight, we have the eye and the skin color. We have many of the psychological characteristics also, like we have the intelligence, we have the creativity and we have the personality and you know it it becomes quite evident we do have a personality pattern you know and it is identifiable it is observable you know we do have certain traits which we can very well witness and that's how it helps us to also distinguish people you know uh, from each other on based on these particular kind of traits so when it is observable when it is identifiable then it is the phenotype when it is just about the genetic material which you have inherited from your parents, you know, so to say the, the ultimate genetic heritage is the genotype, you know. So together if we see these observable characteristics of a person, you know, they are nothing but the result of the inherited uh, traits and the environment, you know. It is the result of these two actually working together, you know. And uh, when we talk about, uh, so to say, the environment, when I'm talking about the second aspect, you know, it is actually talking about, uh, you know, that uh, how is it that environment is affecting the development of a person. So we just take an example of a child, you know, who's always been quite introvert, you know, introvert, shy, you know, doesn't really open up, quite reserved. It's because of the genotype, the kind of the genetic genetic material that he or she has inherited from his parents and in a way it predisposes or in a way it is basically quite predictable that this child is also going to be like this and it is in a way coming because of the genes you know that he is also quite reserved shy doesn't want to talk much doesn't want to participate much but are we going to give up on such children are we not going to groom their skills of course we are so the environment here plays an important role because the environment, you know, is going to promote the social interactions. The environment is going to promote the extroversion, you know, and is going to help the child open up, is going to help the child give a lot of opportunities. You know, it's going to help the child uh, express his opinions, his viewpoints, you know, so environment is going to give a push in the form of opportunities like you know you have debate competitions you have a lot of co-curricular activities you have a lot of um, activities like even in terms of life skills you have circle time and so many other 
and in the process you do witness children who have been quite shy quiet reserved you know in their own shell from so many years tend to open up you know because they are getting that kind of push and support from the environment so i can say that it is the genes of course which is shaping our development but it is also the environment you know the right kind of nurturing which is ultimately shaping the child or the person and we are getting our skills groomed on daily basis our skills are getting polished and better so they both are contributing towards the ultimate development of the child they are both responsible and i just cannot uh, say that there is only one factor contributive so a lot of things matter you know like uh, uh, even when you really want your child to maybe gain a little weight maybe he or she could be a little scraggy or slim type you know but you do uh, give a good healthy diet you give a good nutrition you know you probably will also uh, uh making an influx of uh, other physical activities so you are you are trying to engage and probably make a combination of such variety of things because you want to give the best to your child and you just don't want to uh you know constantly uh, feel that you know it is it is the result of the genes that my child probably has inherited from you know uh from the parents you know of course it is there but definitely the skills the overall grooming can be done of your child you know with the help of the right kind of uh, uh, you know parenting the right kind of uh, uh, you know grooming or so to say the kind of support that you get from the immediate environment the school the family you know so of course it is the nature which is your heredity but it is also the nurture together it is shaping the development of the child you know so this was about it children and we are going to be taking up the next topic soon so uh, that was about the factors and of course uh, you know it is uh, also that you know the kind of environment you know that the child will choose it in a way also uh, depends on the children you know the kind of environment that they want to ultimately choose because you know it also kind of uh, pin points on the 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 genotype so to say you know so they do have their own genotype whatever they probably could have inherited you know from their parents you know they could be very cooperative very attentive you know and uh, besides that of course you know the kind of environment they are choosing it's but you know the children themselves you know and um, that's again based on their genotype you know the kind of uh, inclination that you know they have and uh, so of course uh, because of their genotype they tend to start performing well and uh, and of course because of the environment they choose they start spending more time in such kind of environments you know and ultimately uh, they are able to do wonders you know so these are such kind of uh, interactions the interactions are between of course the genotype and the environment and this is how the interplay works this is how it's interwoven so thank you so much children